Happy Monday, guys. Welcome to my third floss tube video. Um, since I had my hand, since I uh, went through all my stash and pulled out my finishes for my last video, I thought, you know, I should just do a quick video and show you guys what I've been up to over the last 13 years or so. Um, so I've got some finishes and the piece that started it all again for this year. And then I have one FFO, which is so not that deep, but it works. So we'll get started with the piece that I mentioned I picked up in May of this year and took it on vacation to finish it. It was a whip. It was a UFO, actually. Um, that was several years old. It was still in the hoop, so you can. I have. I have not ironed these or anything. I literally stacked them up and put them in a bin. So that's not good. I need to do something with this. But um, this is. I have to find the pattern. Um, this is a Lizzie Kate. I'm pretty sure. Yes, Lizzie Kate snippet. Uh, friends are like angels. Um, it's a snippet number S03. It looks like. Um, this doesn't need beads. I never put any beads on there. I should do that. So it's totally not even finished yet. I never got beads for that. Um, but I really like it. It's my first project on what I now know to be even weave. Um, two over one, except for the word R and on. Those are one over one. No, two over one. And the rest is two over two. I don't remember what I said. Anyway, um, when I picked it up, and took it to Florida, this heart was not done and this part of the border was not done. So I finished that in literally, you know, less than an hour and thought, yeah, I need to keep doing this. So um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I think I was making it for a friend and I'm not friends with her anymore. So awkward. Um, I'll do something with it though. I have other friends. So um, when I came home, I had another whip, still UFO still in the frame um this is heart and hand needle art from their monthly mania series in the year 2000 um i had only had partial wings over here so that was my second thing that i did um, i really like it i had others of these that you'll see that i had done 10 12 years ago um, but this was the one that was super old that I finished. Those were, yeah, those were it. That is what started me. This fabric, I want to, I know it's an Ada, but it's super, like, droopy. Like a very loose burlap. And I thought it was 14 count, but it might even be 11. I'm not fairly sure. And I, it's dirty. I can, I can see dirt. So I need to figure out how to clean that without cleaning those threads maybe because those are all weeks and gentle art before um, they were color fast or said color fast and I know even now that they're color fast people still say that they get stuff out of them so um, this is these are the snippets that I had that um, I wanted to finish they were all in my stash I had the floss for all of them or most of them anyway. Um, I had a couple that I did, couldn't find, but it looks like I probably um, replaced them with something, most likely that Needleworks store, which was the Stitching Well, that I still don't know if they're open still. We're probably out of them, so they helped me pick something else. It's still when I was very new. So um, this is one that I finished most recently. Um, I like it. The specialty stitches in the middle are not true specialty stitches. I don't, I think they were supposed to be like a Rhodes stitch and I just made up my own because I wasn't interested in trying to do that on this super duper big count. Um, it looks like I bought fabric for all of the months except for two, which is unfortunate because I don't even know what this is. If you have any idea of what this stuff is, <laughs> let me know. Cause I'd like to get something similar. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to do with these. I don't know. Here's January. This one I finished 10 years ago. Um, it's cute. Super fun. Uh, this is May. This one I finished um, this year. I really like that. I had a little bit of that back stitch for the ivy. 
super cute. Again, those specialty stitches are not correct. I think those were road stitches too. Um, I didn't want to, it was not working. It was just not working. This one I finished 10, 12 years ago for July. Really like it. It was a lot of one color, so I imagine that was kind of boring, but it's very cute. August, I finished this year. I was excited about this because this reminds me of the UP, which is where we are headed in August this year in just um, a couple weekends. So lighthouses are in the UP, like those, super fun. Uh, this one I finished uh, 10, 12 years ago for November. I like it. I had no idea still, I don't know. That one's dirty too. And December, I think was the first one that I worked on of the series. Um, I love these, I love Lizzie Kate. I know she's not for everybody. Um, not all of her designs are for me, but they're super cute and super simple. And especially when I was first starting out, yeah, there was nothing beating those. So I'm going to finish that series um, eventually. And when I saw these modeled at the Stitching Well, they were all in their own little individual frames, which they sold. And that wasn't going to happen. That was going to be super expensive. And in my mind back then when I had just one child and he was three and I had my own place and it was all mine, I was going to do that. I was going to find cheaper frames and I was going to frame them all and put them over my archway. Um, and that never came to fruition. And now several, several years later, a whole different life later, um, that's, that's just not going to happen. So I am thinking about, look how dirty that one is. That's a shame. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Um, I did think about cutting them down and adding some sashing and then making like a, a year wall hanging, um, for the whole year. And I don't know what I would do with that. I would, I would definitely hang it up somewhere up here. Um, I could see that happening before I frame each individual guy. So probably when I cut this down, you won't see the dirt. But if anybody has any idea, spot cleaning, I don't know. I have some yucca, eucalene, I think, uh, um, and dish soap. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to spot clean that or not. I don't know. Let me know. So those are my finishes. I did do... And I just found the floss for it not that long ago, just laying on the floor. And I was trying to think, why did I buy DMC linen floss? Do they even sell that anymore? I don't know that I've ever seen it. Um, and maybe I just found, I did not just find the pattern. Yes, I did. So I made this 10 years ago. I don't think it was in those colors, but maybe it was. I don't really recall. Um, that dragonfly, I made that for a friend in DMC linen. I remember it, and then I framed it, and I gave it to her for Christmas. I, you know, back then, I didn't take pictures of stuff that I did, but I do, um, yeah, this was just a little thing from Hobby Lobby. It was a buck. They're more now. Um... I found some more patterns that I didn't know that I had. Look at these that are my stash. They're more Lizzie Cates. Look at that. Mary Ho Ho, I love. Look at that. Ready to start. What was I say? Oh, ready or not. Ready or not, here I come. It shows up backwards. Anyway, those are fun. I didn't know those were in there. Good times. Yay. So. So those are my finishes. And then I have one FFO, one more FFO that is still in my possession. My son, bless his heart. I remember my first video, I said that I suffered from FOMO, fear of missing out. My son suffers from FOMO when it comes to my crafts. Whenever he sees me make something, he wants one. Literally a couple months ago, I made a pin cushion for a swap partner and it was sushi and it was made out of felt. And I cut out all the pieces and I pieced it together and my son wanted a felt sushi pincushion. He doesn't need a pincushion. I said, no, I'm no, I'm not going to do that, but I will teach you how to make one. And then he lost interest. So when he saw me picking up my cross stitching again, um, 
a month or so ago, he asked me if I could cross stitch him something. And I said, sure, look online, figure out what you want. And he said right away, I want a Pokemon. Okay. I'm not a huge Pokemon fan, whatever. I said, search online for Pokemon cross stitch patterns. And if you find one and I have the stuff for it, I will make it. So we found one. I didn't have the floss for it. it was before I got any of my eBay stash um, or eBay haul to add to my stash. And, you know, I didn't have it. So it took me a while. I went and got the flosses later. And um, his pattern, it didn't come from Deviant Art, And it's downstairs. I can't show it to you, but... You could Google it, and it was a freebie. Um, just not, yeah, just not too terribly crazy. So this is it. This is Eevee. And it is a Pokemon. And I don't know what generation. I don't know what evolution. I don't know anything about Pokemon, except for this is what he wanted. So then I didn't know how to finish it. And he's 13 and he doesn't care. And honestly, since I've given this to him, it's been sitting in the basement like this, like on my husband's desk. He doesn't care. I didn't even take the tag off. But I got this hoop and I have some um, Coulter's batting just to cover up the knots and stuff. And I slapped it all together in like 20 seconds. There's a piece of hair on there. Um, slapped it in his hoop, trimmed off the excess, and this can hang on his wall, and it's just perfect for a 13-year-old kid who wanted something just because he wanted it for no apparent reason. So I don't know what he's going to do with this. Um, he did show this to his friend, which is, he lives next door, and Ben came to me this weekend, and he was like, this is real tough. Can you, oh, this is, I feel like I'm like 80. Um, can you teach me how to cross stitch? I was like, oh, holy cow, sure. He wants a Pokemon. And I said, you find a Pokemon that you want and um, I will check my stash and I have got the stuff to make it and I will bring it all over and I will teach you how. And he went online and five minutes later came back to his mom and said, mom, can you just embroider me one? Because she has a big embroidery machine. So apparently he felt like that was too much work because I told him to YouTube how to cross stitch. So no, that's not going to happen. I might make him one anyway, just because I'm nice. I like that he likes me. And he also, on a side note, um, took up knitting a little bit. They had a knitting club in middle school and he wanted to try it. Um, and his mom tried knitting and didn't like it, but he knew that I knitted. So I actually gave him all of the supplies that he needed to go to his knitting club. And he's working on a scarf right now, which is super cute. I like it. And when we were on vacation, he actually FaceTimed me because he needed some help. I love it. I love that he feels like he can do that. That's awesome. I really wish my son would pick up something um, for more than like a second. So anyway, those are my finishes and my FFO, and they are very exciting, but I'm hoping with the whips I've got going on, I'm going to have some finishes soon, because, you know, we all have to start somewhere, and I was just a little teaser. Oh, geez, I was naughty, and I'm going to have a haul pretty soon for 123 Stitch, and then Picture This, Pl Picture this Plus had their sale this past Saturday, the 25th. And I might have purchased some fabric. And then I think it was the Stash Queen yesterday mentioned that Gina's Unique Needle Minders was having their Halloween sale. And I literally paused her video and went over to Facebook. I'm so embarrassed. Paused her video, went over to Facebook, scouted everything out, and put my name on half a dozen things. So maybe I'll have some new needle minders pretty soon. I don't know. So we'll wait for those. My next video will be a haul video of some sort. My husband is going to kill me. Um, so hope you all had a great weekend. Hope you're all having a great Monday. For those of you that it's Monday for, some of you might be watching later. Whatever day it is, I hope it's a great day. And we will see you next time. Bye.